Now back to the LD. So it was an awesome show. Always. <laughs> we have a wall, but just to tune in personally, my name is Sapphire Blue, and I am one of your hosts on Girl Talk. Um, you can, as I said, you can follow me on Sundays on OCH Radio. Um, you can also follow me on my own show at 950 Lounge Radio um, at www.950lounge.com. Um, and you can also catch me on 106.1 um, FM at 9 p.m. as well. And you can always find us on what's popular right now, social media, Hello. which we're going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find me at Miss Sapphire Blue. That's at M S S A. P P H I R E B L U, and you can also catch me on Facebook as that as well. Wow, nice to meet you. Nice to, nice <laughs> to meet you, gorgeous. Hey. Hello. <laughs> so, so, where can these people find you at? Well, I am Queen Shine of On and Poppin' Enterprises. We do event planning, we do bus rides, we do grown and sexy trips, we go away, we stay local, we do malls, we do lobster fest, we do everything. So, you can find us on Facebook at Only God Can Judge Me Shine and KB Knows Best. <laughs> yeah. And email, you can reach us at onandpoppinent at gmail.com. And I'll spell that for you. O-N-A-N-D-P-O-P-P-I-N-E-N-T at gmail.com. And you can also find me on Sunday between 6 to 8 on OCH Radio with Molly BX, official clock hugger, every Sunday afternoon. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, a Girl Talk. So, we're hoping that the ladies is out. So, I don't know, guys. This is Girl Talk. You know, you guys have your talk when you're at the barbershop. But this is our Girl Talk time. No doubt. And thank, thank you to Charles L. Yes. For giving us this opportunity yes. and space to yeah. rock out with y'all for Girl Talk. Yes, Girl Talk. I was getting dressed today. And, um... I was flipping through my social media, of course, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, and I was glued today for about an hour to, I don't know, and that's what I wanted to talk about. The power of social media these days well, has your ever, time slipping, 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 slipping I, away from you. The videos alone have me going and I had to catch myself like yo it was an hour and I'm still on social media scrolling through not dressed no socks on not dressed <laughs> not nothing <laughs> just surfing just, watching these videos just surfing it's disgusting <laughs> watch, watching videos <laughs> pictures comments and I was doing what everyone else does to my stuff that I hate all the time is you like, 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 like pictures as they go along. You may not even see everything in that picture. You'll see a name and just hit like, like, like. It tends to bypass meanings or words or sayings and stuff like that. And I always make a comment about how when you can tell who's really, who's really like you and following you and who just likes pics and that's all they do all day every day yes you can tell i find that when you post something ratchet-esque that's a new word ratchet-esque you can get a million likes but if you post something that has a positive connotation you it's get like three 12, likes. Exactly. 12 <laughs> likes. And your pick how like 161, 205, 640 if you got 5,000 followers. It's crazy. 
easy. I know if I post food pictures, I know who all my foodie friends are because they like immediately. But if I post something about an upcoming um, community event or come join me at this thing or right. come join me with this or support me in this, I get nothing. I know. I and it's nothing. No response. No but response. hundred likes on the, the dinner I cooked no last response. night. It's crazy. No response. It's crazy. You could say, God is good. You have 12 likes. <laughs> <laughs> you put a picture with your feet up on a couch somewhere. You you want to beat you on the train. Like, like, right. like, like. Ooh. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out why. I, like, our humans, like, like people, we're so visual. We're so visual. We've True. lost the art of just reading and, and just taking the time out to understand. And it's really sad. Like, social media has taken control. I mean, when, if you go to a restaurant now, the, the, the couples, the guy and the girl, are on their phones. They're sitting across from each other, across. but they're both like this. Uh. And it's the waiter comes over to take their order. They haven't even looked at the menu yet. <laughs> like, what in the what is going uh, no. on right here? What happened to the eye contact? What right. happened to the touching, the public displays of affection? What happened to all of that? The awkwardness. The awkwardness oh, is my goodness. This... Cool device right here puts all that stuff in the closet in the closet it just lets you it, it took everything away dismember all the human interaction that mm -hmm. we would normally have mm -hmm. if you didn't have this you would be forced to look at me if you didn't have this you'd be forced to talk to me if you didn't have this you'd be forced to listen <laughs> to me right exactly but because this has ingrained itself in our lives so <laughs> deeply. It's sad. It's Ooh. just, it's so sad. That's why, that's like my priority thing, my 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 pet peeve right now, when I go if I go on a date, if the guy pulls out his phone and you stays get, you on You get points it, taken away. Or look, and I'll give it like a five minute grace period when we sit at the table. Just, just because. As, just just because, because he may want to turn the volume down. And you that know, may be may, what he's used to. Right, you may, you know, I'll usually turn my volume down or something. I don't want to blast it too loud. You know, you want to check that last message. You want to get something off. So I'll give it like a little five minute grace period or whatever. But I feel like once the conversation starts, please don't go back to that. Do phone. not pull out your phone. <laughs> please don't to go back say, to If it's phone. not your mama, <laughs> if, if it's, it's not, not your job not or your, your kids, <laughs> your house is not on fire. <laughs> there is no reason throughout a date that two people should be pulling out their phone. And no man definitely should not be pulling out his phone if he's trying to court the young lady because I'm all about courting. When you pick up that phone and you're on a date with a young lady, that's saying, I'm more interested in what's going on here than what's going on between me and you. Right. And that's not cool. It's not. We, we really don't, we really don't yeah. like that. It's the only thing, and the sad thing is, it's, I find it that it's, it's happened to me. I've dated somebody for a long time. And I, I started noticing that we would pull a phone. I think when you get comfortable with somebody sometimes, you naturally just start pulling out your phone and you start doing things. I realized it was a problem when I realized like most of the dinner. You were just on your We phone. barely. <laughs> there was no it's a, talk. It's a, it's, How's your food, Houston, <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> Either one of us is cheating or this relationship is <laughs> definitely over. <laughs> <laughs> over, over, over. I don't know. I, I can't do it. Well, finally, I caught myself. I put the phone down. Social media, it was a wrap. I realized I think I'm getting a little addicted. So I'm trying to wean myself off all of these little funny, funny videos of the it's old hard, ladies dancing. Though, it's hard. And, and the big dudes dancing naked in the showers <laughs> and all, 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 all types of stuff. And the practical jokes. I mean, all types of stuff. And I realized I started, so I started getting dressed. And, and you got stuck for an hour. I got minutes. stuck for an hour because ladies, we know we do this all the time. We stand in the closet for like 15 minutes looking at every color coordination <laughs> to figure out what we going to wear. But this is what I want to ask you. Do you think about it like when you're bathing? Like let's say you don't know what you want to wear yet 
and you say, I'm going to figure it out when I take a shower. Do you think about what you're going to wear like when you're in the shower? I'm so bad with that. You <laughs> know what I, I think, think about, about it when I'm in the shower. Like, I'm trying to scan my closet in my head. <laughs> Aside from being CEO of On and Poppin', I do have a day job that I work nine to five. So I find myself thinking about what I'm going to wear the next day, the night before. Some people I know <laughs> do lay their clothes out the night before, but I, used to. I can't do that. <laughs> so I'm thinking about what I'm going to wear the next day. I check the weather report, see what kind of weather it's going to be, and then I try to put it together in my head. And then by the time I wake up in the morning, it has changed right. at least two or, three, like two or times. three times. <laughs> I know it's annoying, and I have like the the side closet, kind of like the long closet with the two sliding doors. So I'm always on one side, right? And I'm looking because I'm very like color coordinated. <laughs> so I have like all of my red, my blues, my whites, my blacks, my. G I have like all my colors, like color sections. So when I want a color, I just pick it. And I'm standing there, and I'm like, okay. And I looked at the shirts like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, all right. And I go on the other side of the closet. And I'm like, all right. And then I have to step back. And, and I do this like 10 times before I figure out what shirt. Like today, all I did was put on positive energy. I went through the closet like five times. The whole rack. I took a shower and everything. And I still couldn't figure out. This is the things that women go through. Men, we, men don't have this problem. They don't. They, they don't have this problem. They just wake up in the morning. I got to go to work. Maybe 20 minutes before they got to walk out that door, they just get up. They get in the shower. They go in the closet. They I pick a I shirt. I wish I could do that. I wish I jeans. could do that. I can't. I wish. I've seen it. I've seen it in motion. And I wish I could do that. I can't, I can't get like that. Up at 630, out the house at 7. Who can? Who? What? Who? <laughs> I try it every day. I, I'm almost late every day for work. And I have to be to work 5 o'clock in the morning. And all I do is put on... Almost the same pair of work pants. Listen, I have to be to work at 12 noon. You know what time I get up? 9 o'clock. Sometimes 8 o'clock. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Because I'm twirling around, trying to get up. Trying to... Sometimes I have to start from the bottom up. What shoes do I want to wear today? And I right. just build the outfit up from there. Right. This is a process. It's every day. Men don't know. Men they don't know. have no clue. They have no clue. So can you imagine, like, if we going out now with you guys somewhere? I don't know. If it's I'm a going process. out, that's a three day. That's why that spontaneity sometimes go out the window when we chilling in the house, laid up in the cut, and we are now a, like, single mode or just relax mode, our me mode, oh. and the feet is up, and, and you know, we got chips or juice here, whatever, and then you want to call us up, like, hey, babe, what you doing? All right, get dressed. We get, we tight. We pissed off right now. Oh, my now goodness. Gotta Find something he waited to the last minute to tell me we going somewhere. Now, mind you, man, we're happy. We're happy because we're going somewhere. But I'm telling you, underneath all that, it's we're a struggle. pissed off. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. Because now we got to sweat and take a shower. It's just, it's just a lot. Men, I don't think men get it. Men, men doesn't get it. They don't get it. Well, I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. It's crazy. But you can learn right here on Girl Talk. So thank you. Because <laughs> everything you need to know, you know, Venus versus Mars, we're Venus. Everything you need to know about Venus, you're going to learn here today. All these little mistakes and stuff that you make, you're going to learn it right on Girl Talk. We're going to give you some tricks, some tips of the trade, and work you right on out. Work you, you won't right have no issues. On out. And ladies, for those that may be having a little trouble, maybe nailing a, a day here, it's all right. Because we're going to get into more fashion, little quick makeup and hair tips. And all that good smells are smelling good. So come right back to us we'll at right Girl back. Talk. Don't go nowhere. I promise we'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Hello, my name is Araya. And I am Selena. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. And when I grow up, I want to be a nurse. Did you know that individuals who drive while sending or reading text messages are 23% more likely to be involved in a car crash more than other drivers? Also, a car crash is typical, happens within an average of three seconds after a driver is distracted. The United States Department of Transportation notes that cell phones are involved in 1.6 million auto crashes in a year. That causes half of a million injuries and takes 6,000 lives. On February 19, 2011, Ashley Jones Davis was killed in a horrific car accident. She was texting and driving when she left the center lane and drove head into a box truck. But she stopped short, writing in her final message, I can't discuss this right now. Facebooking and driving is not safe. Because of this, a new law was made. We have families that will miss us. We also have futures. 
There is no text that cannot wait until later. So let's take this pledge and say no to texting and driving. Together we can spread the word and, and save, save a life, life. Don't text and drive. drive. She's so fake. She's such a slut. You can see the layers on Look her face. Look at her face. chicken legs. <laughs> oh my god. How short is that skirt? <laughs> I can't believe she didn't even put that on. <laughs> is that her dress? It's not even on her hardly. It's not even covering her up. It's actually disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. How can she do her hair like that? I don't even know how this girl has friends. I saw her talking to Holden the other day. Who does she think she is? I bet she slept with the whole football team. She's not even pretty. She's gained so much weight. She looks like a cow. <laughs> Such a good idea. Watch this. <laughs> You're good. Oh my god, that's so funny. You gotta post that. <laughs> I got an idea past this. With your girl Sapphire Blue and Shai. How y'all doing? Did y'all miss us? We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. And we're talking about little tricks and little trades and little things that we can encounter in our everyday lives and how we can get around those. I know. Yes. So if you're just tuning in, we talked a little bit about social media addiction, trying to wean yourself off. I, I, I don't have that tip yet. It's hard. I'm going to have that tip for you next time. I have a tip. I have something that worked for me. Because I have a tendency of being behind the wheel and looking at this good phone. Mm -hmm. What I have done is I will put the phone in my pocketbook and put it behind me. Oh, that don't work for driving. me. No, that don't work for me because I go like this. Mm -mm. And I, I won't, and I I won't try reach to for find it. The bag while I'm driving. <laughs> I won't reach for it. I and won't then, reach for no, it. No, and then when I get to the stoplight, I hurry up and I turn around. And then I've been known to like put the car in park to reach for my bag underneath. Put, my put seat. it in the trunk. I'm gonna have to put it in the trunk. Put it, put it, put it in the trunk. <laughs> I'm real bad. If you was trying to, you don't, well, you're gonna get to know me because I want you guys to get to know me. Um, many people know me because I like to do little videos. Yes, and you do. I tend to do the videos <laughs> while I'm driving, so, which I'm like totally incriminating myself, but I'm okay with that, because I'm not doing it anymore. I used to do it while I was driving, so I de I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I do it while I park in between the lights. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can still get a uh, cell phone ticket I for that. I've never really been a but, um, movie you know, selfie movie person. I know, but I, 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 I got... But I I'll got, check a message. If something comes... I, I try to look at... But I, I have to stop. You have to stop. It is dangerous. <laughs> no, number one. I know. It is dangerous. I know. I know. <laughs> number two, you can get a ticket for that. Yes. And I've been to traffic court, mm -hmm. and 90% of the people are in there because they have perform some sort of violation involving a cell phone while they were driving. Mm -hmm. And the police will tell you, if your car doesn't drive and you pick up that phone, that's a no. Even if you are at a stoplight, mm -hmm. you have to be parked somewhere. I know. <laughs> that's why I put it in park. At every stoplight, park. I give myself time to hurry up <laughs> and do Facebook Live. You I have, do. I'm you bad. You have manipulated. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm bad with it. I do live videos all the time. All type of singing songs on it. I'm karaoke in my car, and I love priceless. it. It's priceless. It's priceless. It's priceless. So if you karaoke in your car, and there's anything that you want to talk about, how about you just give us a call at 347-559-6483. That is the new Nightline <laughs> number. So yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like really bad with it. But you know, it's okay. I calm, I calm down because I haven't gotten tickets yet. But I do owe two parking tickets. <laughs> like, have you ever gotten your car taken for parking tickets? No. Oh. We could talk about that. <laughs> I've had my car booted for parking tickets. Hey, thank you. I know one of you out there got your car booted 
for not paying the tickets. Because you know what happened with, with tickets? You know, the city started getting slick. You know like how before when you would go like pay your tickets, right? And you could go and you could get you could get them lowered. Remember those days? Like when your ticket was 65 and they would like lower it down to 45. Long and gone. The city those got days greedy are long and gone. Said, no, <laughs> if it's 65, you're paying 65. And if you're not paying it on time, you're getting you're paying 85. Yes. <laughs> I was really pissed off about that. as Listen. much money as this city get, they couldn't let us reduce any of his tickets. Thankfully, I do not reside in a place that I'm subject to possibly getting a ticket any longer. Yeah. I can yeah. drive into my parking lot at home and at work. Yeah. They have indoor parking. So I'm not parking on anybody's street. I don't have to feed the meter. Yeah. But for people in the city who do have to feed the meter and those places in New York that do still have meters, you have to watch the clock. And you if you get those it. tickets, you have to pay them ASAP. Mm. ASAP or else. Don't let it slide because I'm guilty of I'm letting it slide. And when you let it slide, you know, life happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you get inundated with everyday, you know, humdrum, day-to-day -day right. things. And you forget all about that ticket. And before know. you know it, that 65 or that 45 that it's turns into 20. Because Hello. I know I got one lingering and I'm pissed off. I'm scared to go to the computer today and look, so look at up, right? two tickets that I, I know <laughs> I have that's 30 days overdue. But I'm going to build up the courage to look. I think that's what it is. You'd be surprised. People are scared to look at things that they owe. When your bill comes in the mail and you owe the bill, do you really open it up and look right away? Or do you be like, <sighs> speaking of bills that people yes. owe, let's get these credit reports together. How about that? Oh, man. Get a copy of your credit report. Yes. You Call to. these companies that you owe money to. Pay them off. Make an arrangement. We need our credit to be up, I up, know. and A-OK. -okay. And these Coming days, you're gonna need your credit more than Especially ever. Especially if Trump getting off, you can forget about it, girl. Listen, you listen. can change your five hundred something mm. to a seven hundred something real quick real and real quick. easy. But here's the key, though: in less than a year, here's, make an arrangement. Yep. Keep up with the arrangement. Yes. Don't let these creditors and your credit score keep mm -hmm. you down here when you should be up here. Ding. <laughs> Note for the day: <laughs> get your pen and paper, and write it down. Call my creditors. Pay see, your bills. Pay my bill and see <laughs> what I can do. That means cut out the quick fast food for the week and just pull it to the side. But remember, if you do that, though, make sure that they are then going to give you the letter to see if they can then remove themselves off of your credit report. It still takes a little while, right. but if it's in progress, eventually yeah, your score will go up. Your bills will be eliminated. Yeah, it does take a little bit mm -hmm. of discipline, ladies and gentlemen. This is not just for the ladies. This is for everybody because some people like to just deny all knowledge that they have a bill. Credit scores are 435. <laughs> they refuse to get a copy Listen. of their credit bill. Mm. And when they finally do, mm. they just... Act like it's not Listen, even there, like it's gonna go away. It doesn't not, go away. It stays. I'm it telling follows you. you. <laughs> it stays. And let me tell you something. It's 2016, and it's going to 2017. And couples right now is checking credit scores. Hello. You cannot motivate and do anything if your partner is at 755 and you are 420. Hello. Listen. Don't be ashamed. Say, admit, I got a 420. Babe, we could work on However, this together. However, <laughs> I'm doing credit repair. Because I want to help myself get out of it. And don't I believe. I can't respect that. This true, true. Because at true. least you acknowledge you had a problem and you're trying to correct it. But if you know your credit is shot and you living a life of, oh, I'm. The Listen. You taking I trips and your credit score is th three out, something. <laughs> you're lying about your credit score or your credit score is in the toilet and you're running around here and good cars and good clothes. You got an addiction problem to money. Money. You got to stop Let's it. Let's grow we up. We don't like that. Let's grow up. You can't build a life. Hey, you've been watching the LVM show. Let us know what you think about this episode. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We value your opinion, so please let us know.